Happy Sunday, RSR family. Hope you guys have had an amazing weekend. If you guys are new here to the channel, we really appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with us today and listening to some amazing music. But you are here with your boy, Jay. Hey, y'all. You're also here with your girl, Amber. And we've explored the 90s a lot lately. We it's a been. really, we really have. fun decade. You guys said, let's check out some more. Let's keep this ball rolling. So we're going to go to a new band. The name is Candlebox, and the title of the song is Far Behind. New group. I said we first started. We first started. <laughs> Why do you say it like new group? Why do you say it like that? <laughs> I don't know. We first started like I wasn't rocking with the '90s, but over the past couple of months, y'all been sending us some fire. So hopefully this will be the same. But make sure before we get started, or before you guys leave here today, you like the video, hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily three uploads. Because y'all send suggestions, we give the people what they want. Candlebox, far behind. Let's check it out. Sorry for my squeaky chair. I'll get it fixed. I promise. And then you'll just make the next one squeaky. I do. Like it, 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 it's all a chair dancing. Yeah, that's, that's what it too is. Much. Too much work. All right. Maybe. Okay. Patience. Young pot on. Did you just call me Young Patty one? Now maybe I did not mean to treat you bad But I did it anyway And then maybe Some say a life was saved But you lived it anyway And so maybe Your friends will stand around you watch you crumble you fall down to the ground And then someday Your friends will stand beside as you were flying Oh, you were flying all so high But then someday people look at you They're what they call their own They watch you suffer Yeah, yeah, you're going home And then someday we can take our time To brush the leaves aside Like, y'all know individually, like, the things we like, 
and y'all y'all hit the nail around the head. Like it, it's cool because to me it's like it's like a little mixture alternative, but like with a little mixture and the kind of the sadness and emotion of grunge. Yeah. I was and gonna, then, I was gonna say something the same yeah, way. and then like the lead singer's voice gives you know those aspects as well, and I love that you know, and we do we do uh, Nirvana, and they do some of it, and we do Chris Robinson like Bush. We've done some Soundgarden, like when they go into the simplicity and like they kind of calm it down, and then boom, they give you that big climatic moment. Oh my like, gosh! Like, like when he goes into the maybe part like this, it sets you up. Absolutely love it because you're getting the story from the beginning, and then. Like in this one, the story, once it really amps up, kind of the angry moment mm-hmm. in it, I love the emotion. I, I, I love this song. Again, killing it with the 90s suggestions lately. So if we talk about the 90s and this song, like where we're at right here, it's kind of crazy to me because we talk a lot about the 70s music. Like they sing a lot about the social injustice that was going mm. on, you know, in the late 60s. You hear a lot of that. And you that comes across in their music so much. But what I hear a lot with what we've discovered so far in the 90s, perhaps it is because we started with grunge and done more of the alternative rocking side of it. It's like, it's a more of a take of the deeper side of our emotions. emotions you know what I mean? Emotions, for sure. It's, it's more of the, the darker sides of how we feel. It's, it's, it's more of like an outward expression of sometimes pain and fear. And then when you hear it, you almost feel understood because there's all these emotions that you may feel or you may have felt mm-hmm. in your life. Then all of a sudden somebody's singing about it and like you feel it and you get it and you understand the ache in their voice and you understand the pain that they're able to deliver. But with these type of singers like him and some of the grunge singers that we've mentioned, some right. 90s rock singers, their delivery and the passion is what Kirk makes Cobain, you, I mean, you Chris just you can't help but feel, feel from the 90s For music. sure. Let's get back. to get the emotion the 90s grunge kind of alternative feel that was rocking i i enjoyed that thank you hey for those of you that suggested that y'all made your boy smile y'all yeah. y'all made y'all made my sunday i appreciate that yeah but you know to piggyback what i piggyback off of what i said earlier it's like you know what the people in the 70s were going through influenced their music i wonder like what made this this generation the the 90s decade able to have this very outward expression of very intimate. And how did it get to that? Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. It's like how what what molded them to be able to create this this other side of music that, that is a little bit different than what we're used to. Because we heard. know 80s, 70s, 80s, you know, it was party, you know, rock well, and roll. Well, I mean, they had, they had deep things, but their things that were in depth were right. very different. Like it was in the 70s was like, social right. justice, and like in 90s, I feel like we get to more like internal feelings, a little For bit sure. more. And especially maybe because, like I said, grunge alternative. I don't know, but his voice was amazing he definitely had that grunge aspect to it i liked it but guys thank y'all so much for that suggestion as we always send you out of here we love you we thank you we appreciate you and remember every single day that you wake up it is a blessing and that you are blessed and for your new family members that hit that subscribe button down below we welcome y'all to the rsr family but you have a goal every day just like we do let them know mom make somebody smile y'all we love you guys till next time we'll see y'all later